start on a uh, 1200 mile trip into the outback. I'm uh, already beginning to pack some of my stuff. I have uh, GPS, binoculars, maps. I'm also going to carry uh, 20 liters, uh, sorry, 20 gallons of water and ropes and shovels just in case I get uh, bogged in. Parts of it for me was to tell the story of the guides that accompanied Robinson. There were eight guides between the lines of Robinson and to hear the voices uh, coming through. Star resource and so forth. So, we really don't think he polluted or to destroy it. Talk to this next person. Thanks for the long reach outdoor centre. Hello. Hello, this is Sky. Hello, how's it going? Not too bad. I've still got that. Uh, Electric whipper snipper. Whipper snipper, yeah. Yeah, now this was, let me just go back to my page from last time. $30, we're selling it. Oh, I already gave the $25. $25, okay. And, and I've got a, man, a man's push bike. Man's push bike, okay. Yeah, I paid $40 for that. And just needs a new tyre, new tyre in the front. Okay, needs a new tyre and a new man's right. <laughs> so, uh, man's push bike, forty dollars. The whipper snipper, twenty five dollars. Now it was an electric whipper snipper, wasn't it? Like one that you plug in.
separate or an afternoon on the weekend, making sure we have some time out and keep me visiting after a week or two because this sort of agenda you might. Oh, hello. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> hello. This is about 25 kilometres out of Stonehenge. At six in the morning. Quiet and still. A few birds. And there's lots of flies already. Last night it rained and overnight you can see where, where the waters course through. And where it was hard and dry with a crust, it's now like a liquid mud. You can't dry through it at all. I've been walking for an hour and I've come across a cattle fence. Looks like a cow. Now either he couldn't get out or he couldn't get in. Who knows what happened here. Yeah, on the way I've met some really interesting people. I picked up an outback man, John. I picked him up at Emerald and took him over to Ruby. He'd been travelling the country for 20 years. He broke down at Ruby. He decided not to move any further. He uh, bought himself a mine. He doesn't mine it, but he's got a hut with it. And he pays $10 a week. He's really happy. 